Hey what's up guys it's Mac from TechFlash and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the official Cyanogen Mode 14.1 Nightly on the Moto G 2013 that is the first generation so without any further ado let's get started So before you proceed any further in this video, make sure that you have downloaded the ROMs as well as the G apps which are required to install on the phone by going to the links in the description below. So after you have done that, just quickly boot your phone into the recovery mode. So to do that, just hold the power button as well as the volume down button for 3 seconds and just leave them. So as you can see now here, I am into the fast boot mode. So I'll just quickly press volume down button to select the recovery and then press volume up button to confirm my selection. So now we are booted into the TWRP recovery and as you can see here I am running onto the latest version that is 3.0.2. So as you can see here we are into the home of TWRP recovery. So before you proceed any further just make sure that you take a backup of your whole device so that if something goes wrong you can restore the backup. After we have done that just go into the wipe tab and then select advanced wipe options. In that you need to select the Dalvik Art Cache, Cache, Data as well as the System. Do not wipe the internal storage as that's where your ROM and the GApps are. So after you have done that, just swipe on the Swipe to Wipe option. Now the TWRP will wipe out the selected partitions. After the wiping is completed, just go to the home of the recovery. Now go into the install tab. So now here you need to navigate to where you have downloaded or copied the ROM. So as you can see here in my case I have both the ROM as well as the GApps in my root folder itself. So as you can see here CM14.1 Falcon the Falcon is the code name of the Moto G first generation. Now select the ROM and then swipe on swipe to confirm the flash. So as you can see here the TWRP recovery is now installing the ROM. Ignore that both the errors. Now again wipe the cache as well as the Dalvik. Now go back and install the open G apps which we have downloaded for the ROM. Again swipe on swipe to confirm flash. So as you can see now the TWRP is flashing the G apps onto the ROM. In my case I am using the nano G apps. You can also install other versions if you want. So as you can see now the TWRP has finished the installation of G apps. So now I'll just quickly go back and reboot the system. So as you can see now we are booted into the Cyanogen mod. As you can see here the boot animation of the Cyanogen mod 14.1. So as you can see now we are onto the startup screen of the Cyanogen mod 14.1. The boot took like 10 to 15 minutes to take place. So now I am going to quickly skip through all these procedures. So as you can see now we have finished with the startup procedures and now we are booted into the home screen of Cyanogen mod 14.1. So now I'll just quickly navigate into the settings and show you the details of this ROM. So as you can see here device model Moto G, Android version 7.1 and Cyanogen mod version 14.1 nightly for Falcon. So now I'll just quickly show you around the ROM. So as you can see here the Wi-Fi is working perfectly. Now I'll just quickly go into the display settings and check the adaptive brightness. So as you can see the adaptive brightness is also working. This ROM also supports the option for ambient display. So as you can see here you can also increase or decrease the display size. So as you can see here we have decreased the display size of the phone and it looks pretty clean. So as you can see here the average memory use is a 388 MB. As you can see a functions tab in which you can edit the navigation bar. And as you can see there are various settings available for buttons. So let's just quickly take a look at the gestures. So as you can see here ambient display, wake the screen when you receive the notification, hand wave, pulse notification on the hand wave. If you turn that feature on and quickly wave the hand over your phone then you can see you will get the ambient display. 
so as you can see now there are various system profiles which are available here at the moment it is set to default so taking a look at status bar settings as you can see there are various settings available for the status bar customization so this is the official build for Moto G of Cyanogen Mod 14.1 as you can see the animations are pretty smooth on this ROM so as you can see now the camera app is also working so here you can see there are various settings available in this uh, camera app the picture size the picture quality, countdown timer, face detection, exposure, white balance, focus mode. There are various settings which are available in this ROM. It's pretty great app. This ROM feels pretty smooth. And if you have a Moto G first generation, then I would suggest you to install this ROM. So that's pretty much about this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And do subscribe to Tech Flash for more such tech related videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.